happy Friday. I am going into the office once again. I've been going in Wednesday to now. So this will be my third day in the office since like the summer, this past summer. And so far it's been fine. I mean, yesterday we had a Lunar New Year celebration. Um, which was actually really fun. They had really great food from Chinatown and we play a little bingo But today it's like a full day full Friday Nothing crazy going on and I'm dressed like this. I have this green dress on This cream cardigan from Gap and my high knee black boots because later on after work I will be headed to Temple Temple University where I graduated from and I was invited by Tupac, so the Temple University Filipino, Philippine American Club. They invited me over as well as some other alumni for alumni night and we'll just be talking about our jobs, post-grad, um, different things like that. How we navigated school, where we are now from our majors, for me, it's completely different. And I was doing my makeup this morning and really just thought that would be a great podcast episode just to give a little, I don't know, backstory or even a where I am now type episode. Just because I feel like I have a lot to say. I've done a lot of things, worked a lot of jobs after college. This is like my fourth job technically post-college and I graduated in December 2019. So I feel like I have a lot to say, a lot of wisdom to give as a 26 year old. And um, that's happening later. So I'll see if I can film a little bit of that club meeting. But for now, I am getting ready to go to work. Luna's over here watching me. And yeah, let me do a little outfit of the day because I look cute right now. over to Chinatown. Um, I'll be meeting up with my friend Miranda and we'll be doing this fun calligraphy class. Apparently the class is gonna last a whole hour, um, but then afterwards there should be fun like festivities and activities to do around Chinatown. So that'll be fun and neat to walk around and look at. Sorry, I'm just looking at the bus so I don't miss it and I get to this calligraphy thing on time. Um, but maybe I will head over soon and I'll see you guys there. from walking all the way from Chinatown, but I got some things along the way. So first I have the uh, calligraphy class I went to. These are my um, practice sheets. I think this one looks really good. <laughs> but this was my final sheet and I wish it was just bigger so it fit the whole page, but it's okay. She's okay, but it just means fortune. And then while we were there, the health department was set up. They had a little booth set up. So they were giving away like COVID tests and stuff. I shoved two COVID tests in my pocket for who knows when. And then I got a mask because they were giving that away as well, as well as a little hand sanitizer, which I kind of needed. And then wait, there's more. So we were walking back from Chinatown and there's a rail park that's on like Broad and 10th, I think. Um, I think 10, maybe 11, no, I don't know. And there was like booths set up and I think for Chinese New Year, for Lunar's New Year. And so we decided to go up there, take a little walk, see the different booths. And I ended up getting two things from um, this booth. I got a t-shirt in medium, so it's a little loose and it just says, you're the dragon. 2024 on the bottom, which I think is really cool. Super fun. And then the other thing I got was a sticker that says, Save Chinatown, no arena. 
and I think I will put this in my journal with all my Lunar New Year things. And that's all I got. I walked all over the city. Let's see how many steps I did so far. Health app. Okay, steps. Today, wow, today I've done over 6,400 steps, 6,413 steps, which, you know, I probably did a little bit more um, considering walking around the apartment, not with my phone in my pocket. So wow, let's try to get to 10,000 maybe. It's like one o'clock, we have time. Pat and I are headed to dinner. We're going to The Goat, which we both have never been to before. And then we'll be headed to a show and we'll not be watching the Super Bowl, uh, but we'll be watching Mrs. Doubtfire, so that would be just as fun. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see you there. heating up on the stove. First off, I don't even know if I showed you guys this sweater. Jamie got it for me. Oh my God, there's chocolate on it. Jamie got it for me for my uh, cancer-free party when I did that back in January. And it just says Queen Andrea right here. And it has a little um, cancer symbol here in purple for Hodgkin's lymphoma and the back. Says slay. But I can link down in the description below of the person who made this. I think it was just her friend. Um, but they have a little shop of their own that you can get things customized. But I also wanted to show you a package that I got in the mail that I have not opened yet. I got this in the mail the other day. And it's for Mahika Paper, my journal company. And I already know what it is. It's tape that I got, water activated tape, so that there's no um, plastic being used in the packaging. I really wanted the whole experience to be very sustainable, very eco-friendly. And I think as a business owner, if you want to make a difference, you have to think about the environment now too. Saving the environment, preserving the planet. Oh my God. So this is all tape, rolls of tape in here. I have four rolls of tape and they're all pretty large, um, but it's just for the packaging really. This is what it looks like. Um, purple with the logo on it, just spaced out. And so if you get a package from me, when things start shipping, the box that it comes in will have this tape on it. And because it's water activated tape, it doesn't have anything uh, sticky, no sticky residue on it, no plastic residue on it. Um, and so how you would tape this is if you have a little sponge or something uh, damp and you kind of use it as the glue, the adhesive. And this kind of tape is supposed to stick really well to things like cardboard, things like that. So I'm really excited, look at it. So cute. And we're just getting closer and closer to when you all are able to get one for yourself, get one for a friend. I think I'm gonna start looking into bullet journals as well. Um, similar design, different color. I think that might be a really fun thing to do. And then you can have a bullet journal and a line journal together that kind of match one another, but are different. So if you have any suggestions, ideas of what else you would like me to do, please share them in the comments below. Hello friends, I am on my lunch break. I'm meal prepping a couple things before I go into the office for the rest of the week. And I think while we're here, I will start the dough 
for cookies, for thumbprint cookies, because tomorrow's Valentine's Day, and I thought it would be fun to be a little festive. Maybe make some cookies for Pat's students, because he's a teacher, or if they have not been on their best behavior, I'll just take it to work. But for right now, we'll just make the dough, because it has to cool in the fridge anyway, and then later on, we'll shape it, and bake it, and put the jam in it, and I made thumbprint cookies for the first time, I want to say around like Christmas time, and they were so good. They were a little large, but they were very good, and so I want to make them again. And I think now is the perfect time. Okay, I lied. I don't actually have enough butter that was room temperature. This will wait. The dough preparation will have to wait till later because all the sticks of butter were in the freezer. Um, yeah, just circle back to me later. <laughs> This one looks like it just melted. But some of them look really good. Like it kind of looks misshapen from this way, but I feel like once I put the jam on it, it'll give it its shape back, its heart shape back. That one was a good one. Mm -hmm. 